the books so far this postseason, and here we go with game number three. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Misses a golden opportunity there. Coaches often measure scoring chances, and he does a real good job to get to that spot. And he will be disappointed. It's so difficult to get to, you want to convert when you get there. Beans the puck over to Echo. Takes the feed. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Reinhardt's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick, and he lost possession. And some good footwork to kick it away. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards and tries to make a diagonal pass to McDavid. Keeps it out, got a piece of it with the trapper. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Barkov's won a big draw on their own end. Ekman Larson stick handling in his own zone. Receives the pass. Oh, devastating collision lined up in the railroad tracks. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. Slides it across to Eflat. Sends a pass over. Here's a short pass to Edwin Larson. Denies him in close. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. More than half the period left to play. We're still scoreless. The Oilers win it in the defensive zone. Puck grab by Fogel. And he'll retreat inside his own end. Moves it to Nurse. From off the wall and onto a stick. Centering in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Here's a chance in front. And he elects not to shoot and will hang on to the puck. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Bennett's got the puck in his own zone. Dished on over to Oposo. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. Dumps the puck in. Florida's gained possession along the boards. A oh, great core strength to hang onto the puck after that. Stopped by the goaltender. I really like this. They've got it on that rush. Sticks inside. Oh, and a great defensive play ends that rush. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Slides it diagonally to Kajovic. Scoops up the puck here. Good read with the stick to break that up. Nice connection on the cross-ice pass. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Denies him, he got all of it. Sends it in front. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. More than half the frame has been played here. Still scoreless in this one. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Reinhardt. Poked away by Dreisaitl. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. The Panthers gain possession. Sends it over to Montour. Here he is with the backhander. He scores! Vladimir Tarasenko. I love that he's on the attack with this shot. He's got his head up and he's not just shooting to find a way through to the net. He's shooting to score here, but he recognizes how he's going to get it there, opens the lane. And most importantly, the goaltender can't track the puck because he can't find it. Florida's got to be feeling good about getting that goal here late in the first, Cheryl. Yeah, I like the energy that they created for their bench. Even before the goal, James, they started to pressure, and that's something that I noticed. There was a change late in the first. 
Tarasenko's taking it from his own end. And he takes the pass. And that one's turned aside. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Montreal's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Florida's got it, and they're on the attack. Quick pass to Rodriguez. Takes that pass back to the point. And that's off target as it hits a body. And now it's grabbed by Henrique. Florida's got possession here in the neutral zone. The Panthers looking against the half wall. Long reach breaks up the momentum. First period nearly in the books here. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Henrique. Turn that one aside. Bobrovsky's been outstanding, tracking pucks and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. Big stop by the keeper. Goaltender covers up, we got a stoppage in play. Edmonton's put a lot of pucks on net so far here in this first period, but they still find themselves trailing late. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. All right, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather, I'll recharge. The players will too. And we're coming back with period number two right after this. For both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Bogoski's the only reason that his team is in this game, James, and he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. Here's a pass in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Dumps it in. The Panthers gain possession in their own end. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Through center along the wing. The Oilers gain control of it. Moves it quickly over to Bouchard. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. The Panthers gain possession along the wall. Puck scooped up by Forsling. Quick feed to Verhage. Oh, and a great save by Skinner. Battling for it along the boards. Knocks the puck loose. With the blast. Oh, close save by Skinner. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a 1 0 game to this point. Florida's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Kane. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift is critical. That's just a heads-up shot. He saw the five-hole open, and the quick delivery of the puck beats the goaltender clean. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Oilers take control of the face-off. Here they come on the rush. Sends it in front, and that's intercepted. The Panthers take it across the blue line. Florida's got the puck behind the net. Scooped up along the wall by CeCe. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Sends it to the middle. Off the pipe. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. Poked away in the offensive zone by CeCe. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. 
The Oilers have it now. And he slides it quickly to Fogel. McLeod's got the puck. Fogel's got it along the boards. Bobrovsky's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Here in the back half of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Panthers take possession off the faceoff. Now a quick pass to Reinhardt. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Passes the puck over to Kachuk. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Fogel's got it along the wing. Gets it over to Kachuk. Moves the puck to Tarasenko. Shot. The score! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. I just love the effort to set up this goal, James. I mean, knowing that you have the puck on your stick, it's a real unselfish play because everything he is doing is calculated to manipulate his opponent because he wants to feed his teammate. The Panthers are up by one here in period number two. Uh, and these are the games you have to learn how to win. You know that this is going to be a dogfight right to the end, and it's going to be the details that make all the difference in the world. Puck is dropped. Play resumes. On man rush. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. He scores! And he completes the hat trick. Uh, he's been zipping and buzzing along the ice this entire night, has Precision passing is what leads to this one-timer opportunity, and it wasn't just an opportunity, James. It was a direct finish as he just slaps it and hammers it home. The Panthers extend the lead to two here in period number two. Well, and I'd like their complete game tonight, James, all the way from their goaltending right to their defense and then into their offense. They generated, they created, they played sound defensively, and now they've got that two-goal lead. From the right side, they gain the zone. Fires it on net, and that goes off a player. Broke it up with the stick in the defensive end. Now he takes it over the line. Florida's got the puck in the defensive end. Knocked away with the stick by Bouchard. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. From the point, looks to make something happen. The Oilers have it behind the net. Puts it on net. Makes a save. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Picked up along the boards by Bouchard. The Oilers have it behind the cage. The Panthers gain control of the puck. Tosses it on to Montour. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by Bouchard. Passes over to Dreisaitl. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Across to Dreisaitl. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Dabowski's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage. But his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. Tremendous magical passing performance here. Scores and make it a one. And you can feel it coming, James. They've been playing way more aggressive. Their opponent's sticks are getting tight, and they're panicking a little bit.
but I'm telling you, the time is now. This next shift, they got to build on that score. They are in one now. Well, the goaltender can't get set to that shot because he continually moves his feet and changes the angle, and his head is up the entire way, and he fills the back of the net. Edmonton's got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Bench is up and stick taps all the way around, getting within one goal in the third period. You know how important this face-off is to get possession and start attacking in the O-zone. Bouchard's lugging the puck. The Panthers have it now. Here's a blast. Oh, what a club save by Skinner. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Oilers make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Edmonton's won the face-off deep in their own end. Moves it to Eckholm. Here they come on the attack. Shot! Way too much congestion blocks that. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Rodriguez takes the puck. There's an injection of energy with that hit. And that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Takes the bank pass feed. And they'll just dump it in and go for a line change. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Panthers will play it in their own end. Quick pass to Eckblad. Florida's got it along the wall. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Made that stop. And they'll dump it in. The Panthers have it against the wall. Handles the puck. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Tries to get the puck over to Perry. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Moves it quickly over to Fogel. Let's it go. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Here they come on the attack. Jostled off the puck. Oh, it denies him with the paddle save. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Shot. Standing tall with the save. Into the offensive end now. Moves it to the middle. Shuts down a great scoring chance there. No room for that one to get through. Here's a chance on the attack. The Panthers gain control of the puck against the wall. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And the play continues. The Panthers scoop it up along the boards. And makes a save. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. The Panthers have it from their own end. Takes the feed. Solid hit on the play. Look at this thing. Got some bodies here on the attack. And he comes up big with the stick save. Getting all of it with the paddle. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. And that's broken up. The Panthers pick up steam and are on the attack. Poked away in the offensive end. Slides it up front. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Hammers the shot. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. For Hagee's moving the puck through his own zone. Look out, here they come on the attack. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Booted away. And now he moves it quickly to Forsling. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Sends it into the offensive zone. Forsling's moving the puck through his own zone. And now it's over to Montour. Here's a shot. Quick feed down low. Here's a pass down low. Slides it back to the blue line. And that's blocked from someone in front. And he takes the feed. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. And with the victory, 
the series lead now shifts to a 2-1 advantage on their side. I really like the response in their game to break the tie in the series and get ahead 2-1, James. It's all about habits, finding ways to apply pressure to your opponent. And now with that lead, you have applied pressure. So if you can get the next win, man, game four is going to be interesting. Well, what a night of hockey, and the intensity will only continue to ramp up with the next playoff game, and we will see you all then here at EA Sports.